Johnson, Eau Claire, head coach Kim Woody, as well as players Charlie Nelson and Jordan Whistle, following a 3-2 win over Juniata to advance to the national championship tomorrow. Coach, talk about the conversation you guys go down in that first set, coming back. Obviously, it's a very it was a very intense match. Um, just talk about that a little bit. Well, that first set, I mean, we just, we were on our heels, and uh, Victoria Taylor, holy, holy cow, she had 10 kills in that first set, and um, we had to find a way to slow her down. Um, we tried to do a little bit of stuff, just, you know, minor changes, and then we ended up changing our whole defense, really, to, to defend her, but, um, you know, we, we said we scored a lot of points for them in that first set, and so we wanted to make sure that we came back and played our game, and um, I just, Juniata, since I was a player in Division Three, has been uh, an exceptional, exceptional program. And I am just, it was an honor to play them. Um, it was an honor to play them tonight. And it is really special that, um, you know, that our teams met up in the Final Four. Um, and I just want to congratulate them on one heck of a season. And holy cow, what an effort tonight. So I'm really, really, um, I couldn't be more excited about this and I'm proud of our team. Charlie, can you talk about your play at the net? What, what's your strategy when you're out there? <laughs> Sorry, like, like setting or like when I go over? Or just anything? Yeah, when you go over especially. Oh, I mean, usually I just try to dump early so that the blocker stays with me and then it frees up blockers for the hitters so that we have solo blocks on both pins. But I mean, the balls were kind of tight today and I mean, Kim always tells me just go up and throw it down. So I was just trying to do that and put it in smart spots and just be aggressive. I mean, we really had nothing to lose. Like, so just go up and get a kill, hopefully. <laughs> Jordan, you want to talk about the atmosphere? I mean, I think everyone could feel it in the entire city of St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did that help you guys? It was insane. Um, like I said yesterday, having all of our fans here and having all of our families here is so, so special. And even having like that ricocheting force of Juniata's fans and their, um, like their energy kind of gave it that like rivalry type feeling. It really boosted us up, got us a lot of energy and um, I think it really aided in our like efforts. Mm -hmm. Ladies, you're one win from a national championship. <laughs> What are you thinking about right now? I mean, all season we've said play every game like it's the national championship, and I don't know how to better prepare for the actual national championship than that. So I think we're just ready to go and play. I mean, our eyes have been here all season, and we put in the work, and we're just ready for it. Absolutely. I think the hardest fight's over. I think now that we have battled all the way here, we just need to play our game and go out and win the whole thing. Yeah. Tell me about Kendra. Um, Everyone had their moments, but it seemed like in big moments she really delivered tonight. What did you see from Kendra today? I mean, she, oh, you can go yeah, first. Okay. Go she took her fifth year for a reason, and that was to come back and lead this team. She knew that her career wasn't over, and I mean, she is just a powerhouse. She is a leader, and I like we can all turn to her, and she just is a playmaker. And she knew it, and she said, "Give me the ball," and I said, "Okay." And <laughs> she obviously finished the match pretty well, so <laughs> she's just a stud. Kendra struggled early in this match, um, and you know she was—it wasn't that she was playing badly; she just wasn't. It, she wasn't clicking, and um, there was a point where I walked down to the end of the bench, and I just said, "Hey, you just got to play. You just got to be you. You're trying to do more than what." you're trying to put this whole team on your shoulders, you know what, you let them put you on their shoulders, right? She's such a leader, but um, she just, you know, it was that, I think when she let that breath out and was like, you know what, I don't have to carry everybody. Um, and she came back in and man, she started blocking. And then when she started, Charlie found her uh, in transition, especially in transition, she was just in the air. We talk about our middles being in the air and um, she was really high in the air, which was awesome, <laughs> which was really awesome. And I, I'm so proud of her for getting that last, that last point. It was, that was really special. We talked about bouncing back in set two, but how important was it to see the ball hit the ground and you win by two, obviously, 30 to 28? Just how important was it to, to see that go up on the scoreboard and, okay, we're even? Oh, it was, it was huge. I mean, I think any time you go down 0-2, I mean, it, that's a really tough place to be. So to get that second set um, was, it gave us 
just a whole lot of confidence and I would say you know momentum is uh, we don't talk a lot about momentum that's a very scary strategy to have if you try to ride momentum um,